Well, the controversy over the alleged behavior of a Buffalo School Board member during a Zoom meeting last week continues, even as the board meets again in a special session tonight. Doing your sides, Ron Plant says that other school board members are now speaking out on the use of profanity and an obscene gesture during the meeting. Once I realized, you know, that it was directed at me, I, I was just kind of shocked um, and no real room for a reaction at that point. Buffalo School Board member Jennifer McCosey says she and her board colleague Paulette Woods have had their differences since being elected in 2016, but she never expected to see what happened last Wednesday as the board was wrapping up discussion on a resolution regarding a contract extension for Superintendent Kreiner Cash. The Zoom square for Woods is now blurred out in what we can show you, but board member Larry Scott breaks in to describe it. We have a board member that's giving people those yeah. fingers on a screen. Sorry. What? There was a board member that was just swearing and giving the middle finger to everybody on the screen. Woods declined an interview and did not return my call today, but she did say by phone yesterday that the claims about her behavior were unfounded and slanderous, and she was only reaching for a glass of cranberry juice at the time. She also said she was considering legal action against Scott to claim that it's slander, to claim that she's going to take legal action on me um, is just to completely absurd to me. Uh, there's there's not much else I can I can say to that. But, I mean, the, the behavior that occurred is very clear. McCosey says she personally doesn't care about any comment regarding her, hoping instead for a focus on the district. But as for the community at large, with the community feeling the way that they feel and each and every one of us are here due to votes of the community, that, you know, this is a reflection of the entire board and we need to, we need that to be public and apologies or statements. Well, the school board president, Sharon Belton Cotman, did not return my messages again today. We understand that there has been an exchange of emails among board members as to how they could respond to this incident. We'll take a look at what might or can or can't be done by the board and what happened to another former board member in hot water at six. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.